In her, he had the perfect warrior protege that his son Xerxes would never be. For seven days, Xerxes mourned, paralyzed by grief. On the eighth day, Artemisia whispered the seed of madness that would consume him. Your father's words were not a warning, but a challenge. Only the gods can defeat the Greeks. You will be. Artemisia gathered the priests, wizards, and mystics from every corner of the empire. They wrapped the young king in Cimmerian gauze dipped in ancient potions and set him to wander the desert. Till in a delirium of heat and thirst, he stumbled upon a hermit's cave. Xerxes passed the vacant eyes and empty souls of the hollow creatures that dwell in the dark corners of all men's hearts. And in that darkness, he surrendered himself completely to power so evil and perverse. But as he emerged, no part of a human man that was Xerxes survived. His eyes blazed like scarlet coals. He was stripped, cleansed, glabrous and smooth. Xerxes was reborn a god. Artemisia trusted no one. So in the cover of night, the palace was cleansed of all Xerxes' allies. All those he trusted. All those who had raised him. All those he had once looked to for counsel were quickly introduced to her wrath. 